All right, let's look into question two. So they say to us the first term of a quadratic sequence, Tn is n squared plus An plus B is nine. And the term, uh, rather, and the term of, this, of the first difference is 11. Determine uh, the A and B, um, hence the general formula. Now, guys, I want you to note in this case, they've already given us what we normally deem as our A value. So that means that is one, right? And we see that we are looking for what we usually term as our B and C value. Right, now we've got the first difference, okay, as well as the first term of the sequence. Let's start with the first difference. We know that we always say, uh, 3a plus b would be equal to the first difference. Now, um, I'm just going to change this a little bit uh, today. Right, so, uh, so we usually say this is 3a plus b. We know that this is equal to 11, right? But we know that our a value is 1, right? So the a value rather that is usually uh, given as our uh, a value but we know that our B value is actually A this time around. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And so we get B to be equal to 11 minus 3, which would give us 8, right? But to find the first term, we always say A plus B plus C. This is equal to the first term of the sequence. And we're given that that first term is 9, right? So our A value is 1, okay? Our B value is the A value that we got, okay? Uh, so our B value is 8. And we are looking for the C value, which is B this time around, okay? And we are given, right, so that will be equal to 9. So our C value is actually equal to 0, right? So that means A, note, the usual B value is A this time around. So A is equals to 8 and B is equal to 0. Right, so now which means the general term of the sequence is actually given as N squared, right, plus, um, we said our B value is 8. So that means that's plus B in this case. Uh, n, so our b is actually 0, okay? Uh, I'm actually trying to uh, remind myself as well. Uh, so tn is equals to n squared, right? So our b value, we said that was equal to 8, but we know that our b is a in this case, so this is plus 8n, plus 0, okay? So this is the general term of our sequence. Apologies there for... Uh, just dragging it. Uh, the thing is, it's just a confusion between the A and the B value. Right, now the next question says, what is the value of the first term uh, of the sequence that is greater than 240? Right, so we want to know when will Tn be greater than 240? So let's do this. Let's say n squared uh, plus 8n, right? Uh, should be greater than 240. Okay, so, uh, and in fact, you know, we might as well just say equal to 140 so that we get the n value, right? So n squared plus 8n minus 240 is equal to zero. Now, I'm just thinking to get, uh, let's say, factors of 240 such that they are... Um, they will give us 8. Let's see if we said 240 divided by uh, 12. All right, we get 20. Okay, I think those are the factors we're looking for. Okay, so we're going to say, right, this is going to be uh, n and n. That's going to be 20 and 12. Okay, and we want our 20 is going to be positive so that our middle term is positive that is negative. So we get n is equal to negative 20. Of course, this is not going to be applicable. We cannot get an n value, which is uh, negative, or n is equal to 12. 
So which means the 12th, the 12th term of the sequence is actually 240, but they wanted to find out when will it actually be greater than 240. It means for any n value that is greater than 12. All right, so I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. Right, and as we go on to the next one, so they say to us, uh, given the arithmetic sequence, we've got 3, negative 1, 5, and negative 5, all the way till negative 89, right? They say calculate the number of terms in the sequence. Now, ladies and gents, firstly, we needed to identify what would be our d value, right? This is the arithmetic sequence, so it means it's uh, we take the common difference, okay? So minus 1 minus 3 gives us negative 4. So our d value is negative 4, and our last term of the sequence is negative 89, right? So let's just find out there. So the general term of the sequence. Now, ladies and gents, uh, please uh, note very importantly, uh, we need to find the general expression first of the equation, right? So that's 2.2.1, okay? So we know Tn will be, our A value is 3. Okay, let's say N minus 1 times D. So this is going to be our A value is 3. Uh, we don't know what the N value is right but we know that our d value is negative 4 right so that means this is going to be d uh, i mean 3 minus 4n plus 4 and so which means the general term of the sequence is actually equal to now i've got 3 plus 4 which is 7 minus 4n Right, and remember what was the question? What's the last term of the sequence? And we know that our, the, the last term was actually negative 89, right? So that's going to be negative 89. Okay, so that's minus 4n is equal to, if I take the 7 to the other side, it becomes negative. So negative 89 minus 7 would give us minus 96. And if we divide by negative 4 on either side, okay, so we will get n is equal to, so let's say 96 divide by 4, that will give us 24. So our n value, right, the last term is actually the 24th term, okay. Right, so 2.2.2. Let's go on, ladies and gents. They say calculate the sum of all negative terms in the sequence. Now, I want you to note that from the second term onwards, right, till our 24th term, all right, we have actually uh, all our uh, uh, terms are negative, right? So we need to take that. Now we can take the sum of all 24 terms or we can just simply take the sum of 23 terms from uh, using A is negative 1, right? Uh, and in this case, uh, knowing that our last term is actually negative 84, uh, 89 rather, which is the 24th term, right? So I am going to say, right, we know that the sum of our sequence of the terms, okay, that gives us n over 2 into, in fact, let's just use a plus l, shall we? All right, so we want to find the sum of the terms, right? So we know that our n value, now this is the part we need to be really careful. If we're still going to take uh, from 3, it's 24 terms, right? But we need to subtract that 3, right? So we can do that. So let's take the sum of the 24 terms. That will be 24 over 2. Our A value is 3. And our last term was negative 89. Okay, right? But remember, we said we are going to subtract 3 from this. 
All right, so we've got 12 into, so that's 3 minus 89, so let's do that. 12 into uh, 3 minus 89, okay, and we get a total of minus 1032, okay, that's the sum, and I'm going to subtract 3 from that. And so that sum becomes negative 1, 0, 3, 5. All right. Now, if you wanted to get another way of doing this, we could have just taken the sum of 23 terms. But this time around, I'm going to use uh, my A value as uh, the first negative term, which was negative 1. Okay. So I would say, well, this is 23 over 2. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, that would be minus 1 uh, plus a negative 89. Okay, so let's see. So that's 23 over 2. And we're going to multiply it into minus 1 minus 89. This is going to be minus 90. Okay, and exactly as we did the last time we got exactly the same uh, answer right so let's go on to the next one so they say to us consider the sequence right so it's almost the same but it's now uh, ending at minus 389 right now they say determine the number of terms of this sequence that will be exactly divisible by three right so i want us to see something here ladies and gents so we've got our sequence being uh, three negative one okay we've got negative five and it continues all the way to negative 389 all right now which terms are divisible by 3? So firstly, 3 is divisible by 3. Right, now let's keep adding negative 4. So the next term here would have been minus 9, right? Of course, the next one would be minus 13. Okay, the next one would be minus um, 17. Okay, and okay, let me just remove this. Uh, the next one uh, will be negative 21. Okay, and this continues all the way till negative 389. Now, ladies and gents, I'm trying to show you something here. That if you look at this pattern, it seems like every fourth term is divisible by 21. I mean by three rather, okay? So which means you are going to take every fourth term of the sequence, right? Now, what is the common difference there? Our common difference, if I say minus nine, okay, uh, minus three, right? So that would give us negative 12, okay? And similarly, if I were to say minus 21, minus uh, a negative 9, that would give us negative 12. So that's our D value, right? All of those are divisible by 3, right? So our A value is actually 3, right? Now, what did they want us to find? They wanted us to find uh, the number of terms, right, in the sequence uh, that are divisible uh, by 3, Right, so firstly, we need to find out how many terms are there in the sequence, okay? So we need to find out what is the number of terms uh, that were there. And by the way, um, if we start from 389, right, uh, let's see, if I say 389 uh, divided by 3, that is not divisible by 3. But now, what would be the next term? that is divisible by 3 from the right, okay? So I'm just going to uh, keep adding 4, right? That's definitely not divisible by 3, plus another 4, 
That's negative 381 is this divisible by 3. Yeah, so it looks like the last term that is divisible by 3 before 389 would actually be um, uh, 381. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as a different sequence. The first, our A value is uh, 3. Our D value is negative 12. And our last term is actually equal to uh, negative 381. All right. Now, ladies and gents, we want to find out the number of terms, right? So I am simply going to say, right, we know what Tn is. That would be A, right, plus N minus 1 times D. So that's 3 plus. Okay, we don't know what the value of N is, but we certainly do know what D is. That's negative 12. Okay. Now, what would be the n value, the number of terms, right, if the last term is actually equal to um, at 381, right? So let's solve for n. So we are trying to find uh, what is the n value, right, uh, the number of terms, if the term number is actually minus 381. Right, so let's do that quickly. So I've got, if I, that's negative 12 into n minus 1, which is equal to, if I take the 3 to the other side, I end up with minus 384, right? Negative uh, and a negative, okay? So that's divide by negative 12. Right, so let's do that. Okay, 384 divided by 12. Okay, that gives me 32. So n minus 1 is equal to 32. So therefore n is equal to uh, 33. So ladies and gents, that is our answer. Right, it means that the number of terms that are divisible by 21 in this, I mean, by three in the sequence would actually be uh, 33 terms. All right, so that is really how the cookie crumbles there. Quite an interesting question, right? As we prepare ourselves to go to the next question.